So, uh, Mike, great win against uh, Saris on the weekend, obviously. How impressed were you by that defensive performance? Yeah, I think we spoke last week about raising the bar defensively over, you know, coming out of the European competition and rolling our squad. And, you know, we got back to where we got most of our silver backs back last weekend. We're, you know, near its full strength. And, you know, it was about going uh, going getting them. And, and I thought we did a pretty good job, really. You know, defensively forced errors. We got off the line pretty well all afternoon. And, you know, probably disappointed we didn't score a few more points. I know I know it's out of the game that Danny Cipriani is actually leading the line a lot of times off the off the not a player actually known for his uh, defensive qualities. How, how impressive was that for you for him leading the line? Just well, I spoke to Danny in the morning actually, but you know he's been he's been in that England Test arena now for, for the last month or so, and it's about him leading it as a ten, leading our defensive shape, getting our players off the line. He's he's probably in a good position to do that. And we spoke about that Saturday morning, and you know, and Danny did that, you know, did it well. And when he when he does do it well, you know, Danny Danny's a pretty good athlete. He's, he's you know, he's quite a big, a, a lot bigger than people give him credit for. He was excellent on the weekend as well, and that that uh, that win now takes you up to up to third uh, in the league, and um, fifth, sorry, um, only a point off third. Yeah, is is that fourth place in the playoffs a genuine possibility for Sale Sharks? Well, that's what you look at the table is very very congested in that area. It's going to be tough to finish fourth. But I really believe we're, we're, it's up to ourselves. And more performances defensively like last week will give us a, a lift to that. But we've got some pretty good opposition to play over the next next few weeks, and you know, very tough teams to beat away. So, you know, I'd like to think we could we could finish fourth. But as long as we're around in that top six, then you know, it'll be it'll be a, a juicy end of the season for us. It's going to be a great run into there. And Leicester don't score a great deal of tries. They're down to the bottom of the table in terms of try scoring stats, but obviously they're winning games deadly from the boot. Where do you have to, where do you have to watch out for? I think set piece. I think, you know, looking at some footage this morning, we, we got burned on set piece against them, particularly off drives the last time out. You know, our defence in, in our 22, in particular off set piece, has got to be really good. You know, they've got Mooney Polo back now, I think he's an excellent ball carrier. You know, Tate, Gulliver. Um, We've struggled with Benjamin. He scores freaky tries against us. You know we've come up with some soft defensive players in him, and you know they've got threats. They've got threats, and it's it's a bit of a, it's a bit rare for them because they have got such such good threats in the back line. Uh, but for me, we we got we got to manage them around that tight area, particularly off drives driving lineups.